everyone it's Rita with everything homemade and it is July 7th 2020 and this is a garden update to see on the growth of everything that we have planted so far so we're gonna start with the chamomile so far and if you take a look they're getting their heads and they're actually doing really well look at that and this year I am not going to be harvesting anything of the chamomile as I want it to go into seed. I want the seed in the ground so it can come back year after year. And you can see the parsley there is doing really well. The one thing that isn't doing so well is the marjoram and it has got to be the rain. We have had rain and more rain and guess what? more rain and it's starting to green up but it's not um, growing near as fast as I would like so hopefully we can get some sun this year it's starting to be a really rainy year which is really concerning for the farmers for the garden for everything right now we started out really good but now the rain is coming like crazy so Ocean here is going to be a little bit of a tour guide. She's going to be pointing some things out to you as I talk. So we're going to start with the cucumbers. Wow, Ocean, look at them, hey? Yeah. They have sure grown. So the cucumbers have kicked off. Again, not as fast as we would like because it's raining. And there is flowers. So they're starting to bloom. Now if we can just get some sun so the bees can come out. Um, they will be pollinated. So if you take a look at the rest of the row here, they're looking really good. Really nice color. There's no powdery mildew. Looking really good. And even this little plant that wasn't doing so great in the previous update has really kicked off. Look at that color. That's the color I want. So like I said, I'm hoping that the roots can bypass whatever's bothering it. And I think it has because now it has completely picked up. So, so I'm really happy for this guy. So the cucumbers are blooming. We don't have any cucumbers yet to pick, but like I said, it's been raining. So I'm hoping for some clear days here. We have the lettuce row and we have been harvesting lettuce. Um, you can see where I cut right there and this is going into supper here tonight. We have some radishes. We pulled the other row that was um, maggoty, but this row here, Ocean, you want to do a test? I haven't looked at sure, these I'll for a, a big one. I haven't looked at these for a couple of days to see what's happening on, under the ground. <gasps> These are the ones I really want to plant and they're getting maggoty. There's bite marks. And you can see right there. Okay. And you can see right there, they are being attacked also. So it looks like we're going to lose every single radish. Mm -hmm. The romaine lettuce is doing really good. We can almost start harvesting now leaf by leaf. So that's really good. And Ocean <laughs> have had some experiment. We before this we had bought um, some store bought lettuce, and she planted in um, the we, ends. Yeah. And and so so she, again they're doing a little experiment, and they're starting to grow there. Okay, we have the dill. Look how much it has grown since the last time it had just germinated four days or something. Maybe it was a week before I filmed. It is now well on its way. We have the cabbage experiment and wow, take a look. They are doing awesome. We got more flowering with the marigolds. The broccoli has just kicked right off. So it's doing well. And then we have the um, cauliflower doing well again. I haven't seen a single white moth this year. Now I'm gonna note something right now. This year, the insects are out of balance. Um, we got a lot of aphids where I haven't seen aphids attack before. We also have almost none of that cabbage moth. I have not even seen one, which I usually see a multitude of. The other thing that's weird this year is there is no wasps. 
Ocean, did, did I said that right, didn't I? There was no wasp. The only wasp or hornet we have ever seen this year, like for your bald-faced hornets or yellow jackets, is a single bald-faced hornet. There have exactly. been dead wasp queens everywhere, but no workers. We have seen nothing. Exactly. And that, you might say, hey, that's such a good thing. But in reality, if the wasp population is not here, then the other bad um, insects take over, such as we have an influx of worms this year, like never before. We also, so, and the white cabbage moth, like we got canola growing around us. We should be bombarded. So I made that may taint this experiment this year. Um, I may just do this experiment again in, in consecutive years to find out really how it works because like I said the insect world is definitely off balance and because of the exceptionally cold winter that you've heard me talk about before two years ago when we had minus 45 to minus 52 every single evening and this is Celsius so it was so cold over over a month that it really hit the population of the insects and the and the animals and the mammals but it also was followed by the worst most coldest summer in record and that really really killed a lot and this year like I said, I'm anaphylactic to wasps, so it's kind of nice that I can walk around without no wasps, but it is also a, a wake up call that things are not right. The marigolds here are doing terrific. They're starting to bloom. The ones that I grew, you can see how much they have, are filling out. They're looking wonderful. The beans here are doing, holy man, wonderful again. The leaves are so much bigger. There's my hand, there's the leaves. So they're doing really good and they have even Ooh. picked up here. Like look at this size of leaf. Look at them, those are the beans. Um, really, really, really doing well. Even with the amount of rain we've had, these are doing really good. Okay, pumpkins, holy smokes. Okay, they are going off the charts in growth here. We've got little pumpkins that are starting to grow. We've got them going into the cages. I'm helping them, I'm kind of guiding them. So they are looking superb. Um, and, and they'll just keep on growing here. They're doing really well. The corn. Holy man, Ocean, stand, stand in the back there with the corn to give them an idea of, of your height. Um, so they're they're almost heading heading almost up to your waist there. They're the close. Here? Yeah, the middle one's a little taller. So the like corn here. has is doing really well. What what we we got the moisture. Now we just need the heat. The peas are doing really good. I've done twine so they stop falling and I'm going to tweak it a little bit and keep pushing it towards the construction panels. But they again are doing good. They're not blooming yet. I don't see any buds, um, heads forming yet, so they're not blooming yet. It's still early, so. The carrots, if you take a look at it this direction, wow, we, this week we need to thin. So we need to start thinning the carrots. Um, they, they are tall enough now, and a little close up here, they are, they're looking really good. So I'm gonna pull one, and so they just got, They've just got a little bit of a root forming, but looking really good. And you know what tastes really, you know what tastes really good, Ocean? It's a Use fresh that carrot. And salad. And eat yeah, it. Yeah, eat it. Here, we should share it. Eat it. It tastes awesome. We should share it. Sure. Give, give me a delicious. piece. Sure. Give me a piece. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I'm going to talk with my mouth full here. Mm. Oh my word! Fresh carrots are the best. Go. So we're going to thin these here. Um, the beans that, that did survive in this row are doing really good. Orion celery is doing good besides this one here. This one here looks like it's rotting. You see that? Not good. So Ocean, why don't you feed that to the goats? Yeah, I'll just dig up the roots. Yeah, she's gonna go over and just throw it to the fence because on the other side here we have goats. You can kind of yeah. see them moving around there. 
the little ones. So she's gonna give them a, a taste of fresh oh, celery. Who buried this deep, Orion? And then we have the tomatoes. And they have definitely taken oh, off. I think They're beautiful. Right. Absolutely beautiful. And they're about, I would say, 18 inches tall right now. And they're doing really good. So, so you can see how much growth has happened again since the last update till now. They still have blossoms, but nothing has opened because we lack the heat. So we got the growth, we got the moisture. Now we need the heat for the blossoms to open. So that's really, really lacking right now in the garden. And mom, we yep. have a sneaky big dill plant under a tomato plant. Yeah, so there, whenever you plant dill in the garden, you always have volunteer dill. So we got dill all over the place too. And then this is the red beets. Again, they're doing really good. This is the weather they, they love. Some heat, it's a little bit of heat, nice moisture, warm, warm. It's been warm, so it hasn't been really cold when it rains, which is good, which is different from last year. It was freezing. I remember wearing my winter jacket in the middle of summer in the morning doing chores. That's how cold it was last year. Which is mm. summer. Which is in summer. Warm, not oh cold. my word. So we got we're getting some slug damage for sure happening. This is like the pristine weather for slugs. Hey, you guys, why you say hi for the film? Say hi to everyone. This is Topaz, and that's Bumblebee, that's her kid. This is Sahara, that's Mercury right over there. Those are, that's, uh, that's um, Storm, the one with the, out without the black stripe, that's one of Sahara's kids. This is Cookies, the one with the collar. And she had a little white buck that right there that's named Phoenix. Anyway, pretty exciting. Okay, this is the butternut squash and it has grown quite a bit. Again, these are the leaf size. That's my hand. Mom, a flower bud. And, and we got some flower buds. So, so heat, pray for heat, pray for sun. We so need it here. Okay. So, so this is the cabbage and it is almost outgrowing these, these, um, this cover that I did and I may have to actually take it off this year because it is actually growing almost too big. The kale here we've noticed is being attacked by aphids even though I did cover it. There's aphids on the kale. So we need to take the hose and wash the aphids off. So that's irritating, to say the least. Um, and we have here, we have more cabbage coming. Again, it's filling right up. And we have the cauliflower here. Broccoli. Or sorry, the broccoli, thank you, Ocean, that is just going absolutely crazy. And, look, it's, and it's, it's lifted up enough ground. that it is actually pulling it out of the ground. So I may just have to lift this whole thing up and if the kale has aphids, that means the cabbage will have aphids. That means I'm gonna be washing everything down. So, it doesn't block absolutely everything. Um, we did the tomatoes. Okay, zucchini. We are going to be harvesting our first zucchini tonight for supper. So let me show you some zucchini. Ocean, right just here. pull, show them. Oh, there you go. Everything's green here. Look at okay, how big that so is. this is one of the zucchinis growing that we'll be pulling and we pull it at a smaller When they're smaller, they taste better in my opinion. They're not so woody. Mom, There's mom. another zucchini right here That we're gonna be pulling you should see that huge one over the back here. Yeah, and so when you see zucchini That is yellow right there and kind of rotting that means that it didn't get fertilized the so ocean pull it and feed it to the goats we got a little zucchini over there that's growing. Um, we got another zucchini. Whoa, the leaf's in the way. We got another zucchini right there and right there that we're gonna harvest. And then, and then we got a nice, beautiful looking one right there. So the zucchini are doing awesome. So we're gonna have, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slice thinly the zucchini, fry it up. Um, put a little bit of melted cheese over it, some salt, some pepper, and it's going to be delicious. 
So Ocean just whispered in your how to harvest. If you don't know how to harvest zucchini, let's do one right now, Ocean. So let me just, just wait. So you want to do a twist. So she's gonna grab it and she's gonna just twist it off. And, and there you have it. You have pulled a zucchini off. So that is our first zucchini that we have taken off the plant. So exciting. I know, hey? So these are the peppers. They're definitely not growing as fast as I would like or if they were maybe in a greenhouse. Why? Because it has been so gloomy, so wet. I have literally covered them up for the last five days. Um, we've had hardly any sun. So the growth is not great, which is concerning because we don't have too many weeks left. So yeah, that's just what happens. Um, I've noticed that even though they were covered, we're, we've got some slug attack on them. Um, that's where the holes are from, is from those nasty slugs, because this year, we can say that it could be very well the year of the slugs. Um, this one here is taking a bit, you can see the slime that was on it, that literally is bitten overnight. So, we'll just um, keep trying. All in all, they're doing good. I do see some flower buds on it, but we really need the sun. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.